Hello, with Thick Cut Gaming, and I'm here with... Give me a shot, guy. How is everyone? How you doing? And first of all, I would like to thank all of you, our, subs well, our subscribers. I'd like to say us, because it's a, it's a group. We're a group. We, you know, we work together we to make videos good. Yeah, and you enjoy them, and we'd like to thank you all. You're amazing people. We hope that we can bring if in it new wasn't subscribers. for you guys, we wouldn't be doing this right now. No, we, we wouldn't. We, we would, wouldn't. We would just, you know... And be sitting here. What this is is our first Monster Hunter broadcast. Everybody just, yeah. just fucking clap. Monster Hunter. And the people in the background are Veronica and Omar. Say what's up, guys. You'll probably know them from, probably know them yeah. from yeah. other Hello. videos. Yep, Scary Face is here. <laughs> scary face. face. You're not going to see her face. But you will know it's scary. But you know it. <laughs> <laughs> so you I'm not sorry. I'm not ugly. Ugly. I'm not ugly. Oh. I'm not, I'm not. You know you're a very... Pr Don't kill me on camera. No, she has We have proof. Me. We like, have proof now. This we're going to put like fun. a sensor bar like... Boo. She's going to kill me for and brush. Then, and then Angel disappeared like, well, Angel's gone. That's like... No. I, I didn't mean it like that. I mean that B, you can be oh, scary God. when this you want to be. Cool. You anyway, scare me on more than one occasion. This is our first Monster Hunter broadcast. And we're going to talk about, of course, Monster Hunter. Well, we're going to... Monster Hunter... I will go back to Monster Hunter Portable 3rd. It's just I'm really busy since I'm really close to graduating in a few weeks. And since we have Monster really Hunter close. 3 Ultimate, we really? gotta jump on that gravy train now. So, it's an off and on thing. It's an off and on thing. Mm -hmm. Second, we, me and Angel are still playing for Ultimate. I mean, we're not gonna stop. We're not gonna for, stop. It's one of those things that you can't... You just can't Our play. life friend code will be down below. You so you can so just message us. us. Or do anything. Show off and stuff because no. I know I'm barely playing. I know I'm what Hunter rank four. I'm Hunter rank four online and Hunter rank seven offline. Fuck you doing without me, bro? It's the, that's the mission of the Mono Blows. Oh, then what the hell? Okay, well fuck it, fuck it. Anyways, just <laughs> fuck it. You just, you, you're making me confused now. Just let me think. Don't hurt yourself. Anyways, let's just get <laughs> on with this. We're gonna, we're gonna talk about the history of Monster Hunter. I think in America, in America, in America, we only had so PlayStation, many. PlayStation, it started off with PlayStation Two. Yeah, and so many limited monsters. I it heard was that just, was like the hardest, uh, it hardest was monster hunter ever. Because just like how three, I just love the one, the one for the Wii did. The weapon system didn't really go up yeah. that high. But then again, it went to the portable to the PSP, and that's at, it. Like it blew up. It it just blossomed. Like what with Monster freaking, Hunter? What? How Monster Hunter Freedom? It Freedom was Monster 2. Hunter Freedom. It was Monster Hunter Freedom and Freedom Two, but you introduced new monsters in each game. Yeah, and new uh, weapons, bow, I think, right? Well, no, the weapons stayed the same throughout. I think the only introductions were the Great Bow Gun and the Hunting Horn, which everyone's just crazy about nowadays, myself included. What, you mean the Hunting Horn? Yeah. Of course, the Hunting Horn is... Now, what really... It's a part of weapon. Well, now, what really made Monster Hunter crazy was Freedom, Freedom Unite. Unite. Freedom Unite. Well, basically, Freedom Unite, it... Has what the biggest roster? The big uh, over a hundred like monsters. Here, here in America, it has like the biggest, the biggest roster. roster back, back over in Japan, it's like Monster Freedom, Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. That's <laughs> shit. That's hey, I didn't want enough monsters. But here in America, it was a big deal because it had an enormous, like almost. It, it just needed two more monsters to actually be one hundred monsters in that game. And it also, and it's also the game in America with the most Elder Dragons in it. You have Kushala Daora, Kyren, Shengao Ren. Shengao Ren, um, all that. Uh, Kyren, Kushala Daora, yeah, Kushala Daora. Teostra Lunastra. Teostra Lunastra. Sham Sham. Okay. Shamelios. Why did we consider Shamelios an Elder Dragon? Because it is an Elder Dragon. Why can't dragon. we just... Call it weird and be done with it? Weird and be, like, unknown. Unknown. Well, then, a Cantor, you can always fall in the Flying Wyvern. Yeah, they should be considered... Elder Dragons. So they, Why are they considered flying wyverns? Basically because they're not as rare as Elder Dragons. Rajan. Rajan should be considered... It is. No, it's not. It's considered... A, a, a Pelagus? A Pelagus. Well, it's a primate. Well, a prime... I said primate, and it's not Pokemon. <laughs> it's a primate. It's a, it's a monkey. But still, though... A like, monkey with horns. You see... Basically, it's just a bull. No, it's a gorilla. It's a Super Saiyan. There. There's a conversation. Yeah, Super Saiyan, right Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan. Because I think that, that is the only monster that could go Super Saiyan. If we're talking about like going to another level, there's plenty of other, but it, it, yeah, all the monsters can go. Yeah, but it's not like Rajan. It's not like Rajan, because Rajan, spiky hair, yellow, 
Shooting beam. Shooting beam. It's like Goku lost a brother. And reappeared in Monster Hunter. Oh, I think Hunter. that oh, Goku lost a pet. And then it just reappeared in Monster Hunter. Well, that's how it is. But what, like... I, then we go to Portable 3rd that came out for both the PSP... And PS3, which... And big deal, because... Online. But the only, way, the only reason to play online is you have Ad Hoc Party. Which wasn't really that hard to get. It wasn't really... Because it came with Ad Hoc. It's just we need a Ethernet cable. And Ethernet cables are just cumbersome. Yeah, but luckily, we can play online. Hopefully, you guys can play online with us someday, which I am going back, I'm just saying. You know, it's it's, it's still a thing. I can go online, he can go online. It's still going to be and a then thing. And then, after that... No, I think... No. I think Monster Hunter 3 Try came before... No, Portable. Portable 3rd. Portable came before Try. Try? Yeah, because See, remember, try. Portable brought in Loot Drops, or Royal Loot Drops. I hate saying Loot Drops. Stop saying Loot Drops. See, that's what I would get about freaking here in America. Ranting. They, they mess up the names. Zenogre. Why can't they stay as Genoga? Or, um... Hapuru Boka. They call it a nibble snarf. <laughs> See? See? It got See? me laughing. See? <laughs> See? They call it a nibble it snarf. It sounds like something like, what, like, what the hell is that? Like, hey, <laughs> hey, scary face. I'm gonna give you exactly. a nibble snarf. What? what? Exactly, exactly. That's the oh name of the monster. Your nibble. Oh, no, no stuff in the nibbles. <laughs> oh my god. That sounds wrong. See, exactly, exactly. You really think people are going to take that monster seriously? Well, no one took Lagombi seriously. Or, well, See, they, they did good with some. They did good with um, the Urukus or the Kasusu. I don't still like Urukasusu. But Lagombi, it actually kind of. Made justice for it. And look at the Ranguru Tora, the right. Volvodon. Volvodon, yeah, and um. Look at my dick. <laughs> you don't have one relevant. And the Rumburos. The Burubeku. The Burubeku, yeah, they they made. You know what's one? Of the, you know what's one of the few monsters that has remained the same. What? That the name didn't change at all. What? Devil Joe. Of course. Because in Japan, in Japanese, they don't spell it in any way except Devil Joe. The only thing they don't have is that they spell Devil Joe, D-E-V-I-L-J-O-E. -E, like, it's actually Joe. But us, it's an H instead of the... Mm -hmm. oh, okay, alright. But, but, um, what else? Oh, Tri also brought in the God Dragon, Electrion. Electrion, yeah. But then Portable had that infamous Amatsutsugachi Dragon, the Weather Dragon. Weather Dragon. Dad... That was, that was that was a we, we good couldn't monster. Beat that monster. We beat it. What time? No, no other time than that. That's it. No. But I would rather fight uh, a contour over and over and over again. That, Cause that's um, Nargakuga and a contour are my two favorite monsters. I have weird favorites. Yeah, you have a Shamilios as one of your favorites. And Kezu as the other. And I kid. You, I kid. I don't think you kid. Cause. It's Shamilios and Shemilios. Gravios. Yeah. Gravios is so... Gra Gravios is the ridiculous I know. Power. Freedom and Freedom Unite, there is this quest called Aquatic Festival. Can you we you guys think? probably already know this. <laughs> that there's was this, There's this mission called Aquatic Festival that me and Angel could not beat. For the life of us. We could not beat it. We couldn't beat it. We tried and so this is hard. when we came in with uh, weapons raging like, in the thousands in multipliers. Yep, and we still couldn't beat it. Because first we fought Blanganga. I love Blanganga, by the way. Blanganga. Then it was Grab, Gravio. Then it was Kezu. Kezu and then Plasaya. No, I think we got the order mixed up. It's no, Grab. No, it's Blanganga, Kezu, Kezu. Grab. Because remember, we Go always ahead. died before Plasaya. But no, we beat the Kezu. Okay, we beat the Kezu, then Gravio, then Plasaya. And. We went there with everything we got. Ancient once, potions. Once that Gravios came out, we died. Every time. And then we went in there. I think I had a hammer and you had... Um, the Senator Head Axe. Senator, no, I had a hammer. I know I had a Senator Head Axe, but you had another weapon. Orubo, the Oruboto Spear. The Oruboto Spear. And then we finally beat their ass. We finally beat their ass. And the satisfaction was like an orgasm. It's kind of like being Dark Souls. You know the thing you're never gonna be able to do? Yo, I ain't gonna be the first one. I've been the second one. I ain't gonna be the first one. Because because somebody got me stuck in a stupid painting. Yeah, 
Omar, Angel. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> they got me stuck in a painting and I can't get out of it, so I have to finish it. I beat Orstein. And you had to slay the dragon. The oh. undead dragon. I know I have to figure... But still, I wasn't ready. You could kill it without it hitting you. Really? Yes. Touch really? It, time. it doesn't even have legs. What? Yes. And you restarted. No, I didn't restart it. I still have it. Oh. You just got to get past the other dragon. Oh, good news. That's so... That should have told me that. I could have kept on playing. Anyway, get back. We gotta we'll get back off track. topic. <laughs> uh, then, next in the series And then came. after that, after that came what? Three Ultimate. Three Ultimate came. And for then, the DS. For the... Three, no, 3DS and Wii U. No. Or what? Oh, yeah, no, I did come for the Wii U. Shut the fuck up. And the three and the and it also brought with it a brand new flagship monster yep. and a new element. Slime. And the Brachidios. Brachidios. And the very racist quest. Brachidios Mio. I don't know about I don't like it when it's um people say Brachidios. I call it Brachiados. Brachiados, because it sounds better? I just call it the Brock. Or Dios. It's easy. Dios sounds like it's God. all godly it's and God. Technically it is. Can't be God, but Wait, I mean, it, it, when you can punch, yeah, and you cause explosions whenever you punch. But anyway, like the dual, I know the dual blades that we made off of Brachidios. Brachidios. Let's call them Dios. Dios was actually really effective. We beat a uh, ivory Lagarius in five minutes. That was fun. In five minutes, because we both had dual blades. And every, man, that slime, that slime thing makes the online play more better. And I it, think what made it easier is because Ivory, the guy Curse, was on land. Yeah, he was for the first three and a half minutes. Was it? He was, he was on, on land. land, and then he made the big mistake of going to water, all limping. All limping. I love it when the monster limps. I mean, I, everybody loves it when the monster limps, especially if it's a high rank G quest. It's like, especially if it's a Devil Joe, a Devil Joe. Man, Devil you, Joe ain't shit. For you, for us, it ain't shit. Like, I mean, look, for Omar, it wasn't shit. And Omar had Omar, a, yeah, Omar was like this bro, man. We're rich, uh, we're this man, HR right six, here and, earned his stripes. Three in the three DS version, was he was he was HR um, Omar. You were like what? HR. He was HR five. Three. No five. He was no, five. No, no, no. He, he was way lower than five. You sure he was way lower? He was HR he, three. He had a he had bariffs. He had a bariff armor and I think a bariff. Um, Spear. Be- no, yeah, but no, no, yeah, yeah. Bear armor, bear spear. He yeah, broke. Bear loader. <laughs> he broke the chin just by hitting it upward, and I and I think he kept making it fall down, and we did the rest. Was it was like he was leading the hunt. He he led the charge. You led the charge, Omar. You led the fucking charge. I got. <laughs> good time. Good time. <laughs> That's a man that's on your stripes. But. After that, we waited a long time. We would play Monster Hunter off and on. Yeah. We talk about it. We go to Monster Hunter Wiki, look up other Monster Hunters. We actually like think, sit down and be like, okay, what happened if this monster fights this monster? Like, there was we were a making huge mash-ups. commotion. There because was you a, started it. No, 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 you, no, you put a comment it. in there that I made everyone just on shut it, the fuck up. And then everybody just couldn't just shut the fuck up. Um, people say who will win? Are you can not lose. Or contour. They're basically you basically. They're basically the same. They counter each other out. It's a tie. People says people say a contour because a contour it um it could go to snowy places and in resistance to um ice ice. But, but then, then again, it's not all about element. It's all about what the monster. Well, ba- all right. Basically, it's like saying if you put a rathalos and a rathian to fight each other. Or like a Rathalos. Okay, okay, that's kind of different because a Rathalos does could, could do more. All right, let's say. But you, then again, a Raid they could do a backflip. Let's say you put a, a blue Rathalos versus a silver Rathalos. It's the same shit. But one is stronger than the other. Okay. Uh, oh. Look at it like this. You can all is more uh, more of a defensive creature. Why? Oh yeah, a Kanto is more of an offense because he will run at you. You can all those digs in the ground and use ice beams. So there's no winning. There's no, and there was a huge commotion that no one just couldn't shut the fuck up. They couldn't shut the fuck up about it. They really couldn't shut the fuck up. Scary face. They couldn't. They couldn't. People was cussing me out, telling me I didn't know my shit. Telling me I gotta go on Monster Hunter Wiki to search that shit up. 
And then once they search that shit out, they they try to t- they try to they they look dumb. Cause I just proved I proved them wrong, and then it was like, ah, eh. What you gonna do? You can't argue Monster Hunter with some of the, with two big Monster Hunter fans. Yep. But the one thing that we do not have is the figurine. Cause we have this. What came with Monster Hunter Four? The figurines are being sold online. Yeah, but they're shit. expensive, man. Seventy six dollars for just one. But I bet I could find a company that could that that could sell it that like, get here for two days at the, at the less. Yeah, price. but still, bro, like you have figurines that are worth a hundred dollars just for one. I know. Speaking of names, like seriously, speaking of, we're going back to that topic. Speaking of names, what the fuck? Why are you calling it a Gormogala? No, oh, you're you're saying it wrong. Gormogala. The Gormogala. The Gormogala. It sounds so yeah, stupid. Yeah, in Japanese, it's called Gao Magara. Gao Magara. Say that. Just, just let that roll it's up. It's like saying Madara. Does, does that oh my, does that sound better? Sounds good. Gao Magara or Gore Magala? What do you think, V? That sounds better. What sounds better? Gore Magala. Gore Magala sounds better? Oh, Gao Magara. Or Gao Magara. God damn it. <laughs> you got me saying it wrong. It sounds too Gao Magara or Gore Magala. Gormagla sounds like your gargoyle. Gormagla, and you I'm, say Gormagla. I'm okay with the name. <laughs> so there's three against one, but still. It sounds like someone gargling meat. I'm a girl, I can't aspire. <laughs> well, we lost. Shit. <laughs> okay, fuck. <laughs> but we lost. It's just that, remember, when you bring over a monster from the... Don't fuck up their names. Well, you can't really, because the Catcom, United, USA Catcom, kind of has to. Because... You gotta admit that a lot of people are gonna be like, oh, we can't pronounce the names. Even though Monster Hunter is famous for name mispronunciations. Yang Cuckoo. Yang Cuckoo. <laughs> Yang Garuga. Yang Garuga. <laughs> Hypnoctris. I have people say Hypnoctrice. Or Hypnotrice. Or Chiron. I got a friend that's called a Chiron. I have people say <laughs> Chiron. <laughs> Kira! That sounds like someone's... Uh, you know what? That's racist. I'm going to shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> Omar knows what I'm about to say. Right. Well, there's a lot There's a lot of stuff. And then, like... But then you got monsters with badass names. Well, Contour is one of them. Gravios. Nagakuga. Tigrex. Tigrex. Rajan. Lunastra and Teostra. I just got a text saying, hey, what are good games for 3DS? You know what I'm going to say. Oh, yeah, you better put Monster Hunter on that list. Monster Hunter can definitely be on that list. I got to see who texts me first. Hold on. Oh, Boom. Monster Hunter. That's it. That's it. Monster Hunter. Or Smash. What's Monster Hunter? Anyways, what about Monster Hunter 4? Monster Hunter 4 brought a whole new dynamic to the game. They brought two new weapons, the insect gl- um, glaive or glove. Glaive. Glaive. You can pronounce glove. Or uh, s- switch blade. The charge blade. Why do they call it the charge axe? Because you have the charge to use it. Yeah, but people say charge blade. No, on the game it says charge blade. Not I call it the charge axe. axe. It's way better as a charge axe. It's kind of like the switch axe. But... I don't claim to know the winner workings of Monster Hunter. I just claim to know I played the game and I do it well. Like, I'm more of the insect glove. I'm more of the charge blade. But then again, I switched to the, to the charge. And I switched to the insect glove. Yeah. There's a we lot just, of switch. That's the thing There's about a lot of switch. it. There was a rule amongst us when we first started playing Monster Hunter. That you, have, that you have to master three weapons and one of them has, has to, to be, be a, a hammer. hammer. Because anyone that is a Monster Hunter for real knows that each monster responds to each weapon differently. You can't go fight a Gravios with a long sword. sword you can. Shield. You can, but, but it's going to be hard. You just can't go up to a Gravios and fight it with a sword and shield. Which you can. You can f- defeat every monster with every weapon. But it's harder. But e- it will be easier to use the right weapon. For the right job. Like, kind of like a tool. Like, you, don't, you don't go hammer a nail with a screwdriver. You, just, you can, you, just you look like an idiot. <laughs> you just can't. I mean, you look like an idiot, but if you get you the job can't. done, you get the job done. Like Teosta, Teosta. I went up, I went fighting a Teosta with dual blades. 
I, I fight the Ulster with either a hunting horn or a hammer or a great sword. See, I went out to with a long sword and I kicked his ass. I went out with the hammer and I kicked his ass. Cause Mainly because I was trying to be greedy. I want the horns. Yeah, yeah. Don't be greedy. Don't be greedy. Don't be greedy. Monster. Oh, and we gotta talk about the biggest thing in Monster Hunter that has followed it since its beginning to where it is now. What? The motherfucking Desire Radar. Mm. The mother... You got, like, seriously, Omar, you understand, but no, Scary almost. Face, you do not understand. There is a Desire Radar, a secret Basically, Desire Radar. And the game fucks with you. The game will fuck with you. Like, it knows what you want. But it doesn't give it to it you. And it doesn't give it to you. You can, you can work spend your ass hours. Off. You can, like, spend two hours trying to get it, right? And in that two hours, you won't get shit. You get useless items. And you get mad. And then, when you don't want it, that's it when you get it. And we're slaves to it. I, you know, we are slaves to it. We are slaves to it. Any Monster Hunter is a slave to the Desire Radar. I've spent a week trying to get a ruby off a monster. And, and then I when got I, it on the first try, and he got mad at me. <laughs> and, and when I decide to fight another monster and make the weapon, and I go back to fight that same monster, I get the ruby. The Desirator fucks with you, and there's theories how to fuck with the Desirator, but none of them work. Basically, none of you them. just gotta grind your ass off. That's the whole point. You just gotta grind. I have no ass left to grind. It's gone. You're nasty. Yeah. You just the game, it knows what you want. See, exactly. It knows what you want, and it's, it's not gonna give it to you. It's like a woman. It knows what we want. I want my sandwich. <laughs> You thought I was going to say something else. You nasty. You really nasty. Dude. I don't think dirty. I'm not like y'all. Well, she's not Really? Like what us. about the jigger? That was a mistake. <laughs> oh. That was a mistake. Better oh, else. my jigger? <laughs> <laughs> at, least, at least, it was funny though. It's not like, hey, Omar, I'm going to give you a nibble snort. Oh, <laughs> All right, back to Monster Hunter Talk. Come on now. That was Monster Hunter Talk. That well, was technically it was because we were playing Monster Hunter. What happened? Yeah. But um, it also brought up. Monster Hunter Four. Brought also new monsters, new subspecies. Oh, it brought yeah. back. It brought back a lot of memories because throughout the time of Portable Third to Three Ultimate, we had no old monsters. We had Tigrex and Nargacuga. Well, we didn't. And Rathalos and Raytheon. But that's it. That's all we got. Well, ultimately brought back Yankuku, Garuga, Basarios, uh, Cephadrome, um, Gendrones, Iodromes, Velocidromes, uh, Velocidromes, Kieran, Kyron, Kyron, Kieran, and Shamilios, Sham Sham, Teostra, Teostra, Rajon. That's a lot that they bumped back. Yeah, but they brought they also brought it back in a new way. The yeah. monsters respond to the environment differently. differently. Like with a Rajan, the Rajan will actually grab something off, like dig his hand into the ground, think, take out a root, a huge root of a tree, and just t- chuck it at you. The Mono Blows Mono, the can Mono- now dig through dunes, can, can dig through rock. He wasn't yep. able to do that before. And Kezu could run on walls instead of running on the ceiling on it the fucking time. Dymo Hermiters can lunge from the sand. Yep. That's and another. And while they do their spray, they can actually move, but they usually can't move. That's and in order to adjust to those new dynamics, the hunters had to evolve. Yep. Wall grappling, faster um, blade on sheathing in midair. You can run. When you jump, you can still run. It's not gonna like that little animation where you just hit the ground and just get That's back up. Th- Why the fuck does Monster Hunter have those animations? I mean, I get the point where you have to make it hard, but how does this help? I mean, seriously. I think you're just drinking, and then all of a sudden the little green aura. But look, listen, you drink the potion. And then you flex. And then you do this. You do this, and you flex. For five seconds when a giant okay, rampaging for, wind for dragon. For a couple seconds. And that couple seconds could be life and death. For your character. For your character. You know what I think it is? Balance. It has to balance. be balance. I think that's what it is. Okay. <laughs> that's all we get. It's okay. That's all this. Okay. She, she doesn't know. She know. doesn't. Scary here doesn't game, but she loves watching people. She loves play. watching us, especially I do enjoy which is very, which is watching. Coming. I do enjoy watching them play games, but I myself do not play games. But there is one game that you like, Alice. 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 American McGee's Alice. I have played the first one a total of nine times. Wow. Damn. That's <laughs> like me with Persona. Damn. That's like me with freaking Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> 
There's no. Yeah, there's... it was actually my dad's game. After the ninth time, I tried to go at it again, but my dad had to hide the game from me. Oh wow! Wow. Yeah. <laughs> See, look, um, is it weird that my mom still plays Super Nintendo? Is, my, is it weird that my dad can play Harvest Moon and kick my ass in it? Yeah, um, that's where I got my games from. I do need to play the second one now. Is there a second one? Yeah, yeah there's a second Madness one. Madness Returns. What is it well, for? You know, I it um you can get it for the PC or you can get it for Xbox. I we're have getting it for Xbox. <laughs> and you're playing it. And you're playing it. Okay. Um, I have the PC game, but it's not my my computer is crap. Doesn't work on it. So we're getting it for Xbox. She's playing it. Yep. You're playing. And it. guess what? You're gonna be commentating on it. Oh, if Lord. we can. If 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 we can. I will yeah. enjoy this. Uh, jumping back on the monster. Yeah. Time? Oh, sorry for all that stuff. Felines make the return of the um. And they're way better. Meow. Meow. I mean, if you look, <laughs> if you look at our unboxing of Monster Hunter Four Ultimate, you'll see our felines Yosuke and Ryu. Yosuke looks like he's been through some shit. His tail's all broken, <laughs> ears back, all perpetually pissed off. He's been yeah. through some shit. He's seen shit. Doesn't want shit. But uh, basically, the, he wants to retire, but Angel won't let him. Nope. You work to the day you die. A slave talk, man. Hey, he's not a slave. He gets food, freedom. He can go wherever the hell he wants. He just chooses to keep following you. Yeah. Maybe you're probably doing something to him. Like I'm doing something to you. Don't believe him. Don't believe him. <laughs> Everyone in the room just got quiet. Just like, everyone just keep like, Scarface just looked at me like, what the fuck is he talking about? Okay, we also, oh yeah, mounting monsters. Big thing. Huge thing. I don't mean in a sexual way. Right, right, that's good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my no. Mounting monsters is big. You can deal insane amount of damage and break off parts of a monster that you didn't you, reach that, before. Yeah. Like, Kezu's back. Gravio's back. Um, Radiant back, Rathalos back, Rath any monsters back. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, basically just any monsters. But back. the big thing about it is, is because you have the shell. Ba people basically want to just jump on a Dymo. Because you remember how hard it was to rip off a Dymo shell. You yeah, you usually have to have a hammer. You have to break off the nose, the eye, the jaw, and then you break off the shell. It's like a process. To but not with the Centaur though. With the Cine with the Shogun Centaur, you just keep hitting the. Show until it actually breaks I actually, off. I actually really love the Centaur. It was it was one of my favorite monsters. One of my favorite monsters in in the new Four Ultimate is the Z Zamtrios. I think they should give it another a different name, Zamtrios. I don't know because some of these names are really obscure. For example, Lagombi is a is a reference to what the scientific name to rabbits, Langomine, or Lang. I don't know how to pronounce it because I, I'm not a scientist. <laughs> and like Zamtrios. When I first saw it, that shark, it was fucking epic. It was beautiful. And then when it got to that little, when that ice armor shit. It became epic Er, I wanted to fight it. And then and it bloated. It, it blew up like a blowfish. My respect for that monster just... <laughs> <laughs> they did, you know that um, some guys did a weight comparison on the Zamtrios? And? Regular form, it weighs probably about two, five hundred, maybe about 500 pounds. Ice armor form because ice is denser weighs about a thousand pounds. When it goes bloatfish, the Zentro shoots up to eight thousand pounds of flesh, water, teeth, and fat. Ugh. Uh, see, ew. What? Ew. It is bulbous. It is disgusting. But I love fighting that monster so much. You won't take it serious. No one will take it serious. No, which there's not a lot of monsters you can take serious. Yeah, they won't. Because each monster does their own thing. That's stu for example, when the Kezu gets low on health, what does it do? Instead of thrashing around trying to fight, it just who <laughs> Kezu? Yeah. Ah, uh, Ke Kezu think? will stand there like a little bitch. When Kezu is crippled, it was just that's what it do. It will, <laughs> it will literally just stop. It will stop, freeze for a couple seconds. When it does that, that's when you know it's crippled. Okay, but now we jump to... We, we keep talking about Monster Hunter 4. And Monster Hunter 4 brought something to the forefront that has not been seen in, the Amer in any American Monster Hunter. Like what? A story. <gasps> yes. 
Monster Hunter is basically, it doesn't really need a story. You just go out, kill a monster, make stuff out of its dead body, come back, fight more monsters. It's a repetitive process. It's always been like that. And what fix, what isn't broken? No, I think in, um... Try... You know, in Free to Be Night, you took a role of a retired hunter who got injured by the T-Grex. Okay, but what do you get after that? That's it. You fight, you fight the tigers and that's it. Yeah, you fight the tigers and that's it. And, and with try, you have to save the village from Ciatus, Ciatus. Lagiacris, and then eventually Golden. No, no, no. That's I'm talking about try. Oh, I'm right. Talking about three, you're talking about the ultimate. And um, and try. I think what what made that earthquake? Ciatus. But then again, they thought it was a Lagaricris, right? Yes. You fought the Lagaricris. They turned out, oh, it's not a Lagaricris. It's this monster. Then you got to do some awesome random shit to fight a Ciatus. And then once you fight a Ciatus, that's when they celebrate uh, um, their safetyness and all that stuff. What was the ending to Portable 3rd? Portable 3rd is Genova? where... Um, yeah, it's where, you, it's where you beat... When you save the village from a Janoga... And because we can't speak any of the Japanese text, we don't know what they were saying or the storyline behind it. But All we, we know did research a lot of it. But basically, you just try to save the village from Janoka. It's just and that after mon- that, you just celebrate the safety. Of it's just that Monster Hunter 4 brought so much more. You got new areas to explore, new towns. You got a, you got a city to defend. It just brought a lot of more forefront to the table. And it brought, and it brought home the Gao Magra. A monster that has no classification whatsoever. Yep. None. And it brings dead monsters back to life, but in a fury. In the a fury berserk one. virus. Yep. The berserk virus. They just say, I kill Omar. Mm-hmm. Black stuff comes out of his mouth. Mm-hmm. Yes, that happens. <laughs> and then he just comes back to life more angrier, stronger. Faster. Faster. Basically a super soldier. Exactly. And like... All, all random shit just starts happening. But that kind of gives it like a good thing, a good thing. It makes it, it makes it more challenging because when you have a virus, you just don't... It's a virus that's introduced slowly. It's not like, boom, virus, monster come back to life. No, that basically... Care. And the monster doesn't have to be dead to actually get the virus. It can be alive. It can be alive and you kill it and then it comes out and then boom, comes back to life and ah. It brought it. It just brought so much more. Monster Hunter yeah. has been this constantly evolving thing. Where and, and it, that's just here in America. In Japan, There's it's crazy. Way more. They Monster got Hunter. an entire section in Universal Studios Japan dedicated to Monster Hunter. And to Attack on Titan. Both good games. And to um, Resident Evil. But mostly we're talking about Monster Hunter. We'll talk about the other ones later. We will talk about the other ones later. But I think this is it, right? Yeah. This is our first broadcast. Hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah, well, we I hope they do enjoy it because we actually tried. We really tried. This is our first time, so we'll like to give like, pointers, slides. pointers, and tips, advice. Anybody know? Okay. No one? <laughs> really? Okay. We can't handle criticism. We, we can. Anyways, hope you all enjoy. I'll leave this is the... His channel down below. That we can we'll check also out. leave our friend codes and whatnot. Yeah, that too. And there will be more broadcasts if you guys enjoyed this one. If you didn't, well... We'll still try to keep doing we'll, we'll, we'll it. Try. Until you like it. We, we, can, we won't only talk about Monster Hunter. We'll, talk, I mean, we'll do more about We'll do more. And also, um, don't forget to check out my social media stuff I'll be putting down below. I gotta, don't, forget, don't forget to stay tuned for more Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. More Outlast. Because I will be beating that game. And I'm not going to play it alone. And eventually... I'm going to have... Angel, Shrimpy, and Scary Face. And Omar. And probably Omar if he, if he can. Everybody hear me like, scream like a bitch, but... <laughs> and eventually, we'll be doing gameplay on Bloodborne. Yeah. The people who made Dark Souls. The game that... It's fucking amazing. You call it fucking amazing. I call it Just annoying cool. as hell. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this. I know we enjoyed doing this. We loved it. You guys enjoyed Hopefully it? Hopefully you guys could, could be in it, could show your face, especially you, Scary Face. 
Please. Yeah, you have a pretty face. That you do. That Thank really, you. That you really. She has a pretty face. She does. I'm, just saying, I'm not flirting or anything. Go <laughs> <Your> damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, hope you all guys enjoyed this video. Peace. Meow. I put my no. thing like this.